Well, Iowa head football coach Kirk Ferentz says tonight, despite reports to the contrary, he has not dissolved or disbanded his voluntary advisory group in Iowa City on diversity and inclusion for the Hawkeye football program. Remember, that advisory committee was formed in the summer of 2020 after several former African-American Hawkeye football players said Iowa needed to improve its program culture for African-American players. With that in mind, let's go live right now to Iowa City reporter Travis Breeze with what was said over the weekend and what has come out late tonight. Travis, tell us more. Ron, the athletic department told us yesterday that this advisory committee was evolving, but that it was no longer meeting regularly. Tonight, an email has come out from Coach Ferentz saying that this does not mean that the committee is dissolving forever. In the summer of 2020, former Iowa football players said on social media that the program needed change. They alleged that strength and conditioning coach Chris Doyle had been discriminatory, but that he should not be a scapegoat for the entire program. In the following months, Iowa made several changes, including firing coach Doyle, allowing current players onto social media, and relaxing dress code rules. There was also an advisory committee where 10 former players recommended changes to Ference. This weekend, it was reported that the committee was not meeting regularly anymore. But Monday, the Des Moines Register obtained an email from Ference to Hawkeye families saying the group is still active, saying, quote, several members indicated their interest in stepping away from the committee in December as they felt their work had made a real impact and the time was right to transition to a new group of voices. Therefore, I made the decision to release the members from their commitment. The group is ongoing and I am in the process of inviting new members. I believe the views of players who competed as Hawkeyes more recently are important for what is coming next. While we were not able to get a copy of that email on our own, the athletic department did confirm that the general premise of retooling the committee with younger players is what uh, Coach Ferentz plans to do. We're told that Coach Ferentz and athletic director Gary Barta are still not available for interviews at this time. Live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Now, Travis, thanks for the update tonight. As you mentioned there, Coach Ferentz says he will be adding former players to that volunteer advisory group in the near future. In the meantime, remember, eight former players have filed a discrimination lawsuit against the university and the football program, but that lawsuit won't even go to trial, we're told, until sometime in 2023.